Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a small problem on quantitative analysis. So the question given here is that a sample of 0.5 gram of organic compound was subjected to Geldahl's method and the ammonia evolved was absorbed in 50 ml of 0.5 molar sulfuric acid and the residual acid required 60 ml of 0.5 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Let's try to solve this problem by attempting it by step by step. So it's given that the amount of sample that is taken is 0.5 gram and volume of sulfuric acid taken in total is 50 ml. Now it's also given that the volume of sodium hydroxide that was required to titrate excess or unused acid was 60 ml. Now we know that the reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid that is the titration reaction is given here which is 2NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus water. Now we know that 60 ml of sodium hydroxide is required for this particular titration reaction. Then the volume of sulfuric acid consumed in the above reaction would be simply V by 2 which is 60 by 2 that is 30 ml. Now it is very easy to understand how much of sulfuric acid is actually consumed in the reaction with ammonia. That is simply 50 ml that is the total volume of sulfuric acid minus the volume of sulfuric acid consumed in the titration reaction. That is 50 minus 30 you get 20 ml of sulfuric acid. Now the reaction between sulfuric acid and ammonia is nothing but this where you have 2 moles of ammonia reacting with 1 mole of sulfuric acid giving us ammonium sulfate. So the amount or the number of millimoles of sulfuric acid consumed in this reaction would be simply 0.5 molar that is molarity into volume 20 ml which is giving us 10 millimole of sulfuric acid. Now similarly based on this reaction you can easily understand how much uh, will be the ammonia produced in this reaction that would be millimoles of ammonia produced would be simply 10 into 2 as the mole ratio of ammonia is to sulfuric acid is 2 is to 1. So the millimoles of ammonia produced is 20 millimole. Now from this you can easily calculate the mass of ammonia produced that is simply obtained by multiplying molarity with the gram molecular mass of ammonia that is 20 into 17 to 10 power minus 3 giving us 0.34 gram. Now all we need to do is determine the amount of nitrogen present in ammonia for which we have to simply multiply 0.34 with 14 and divide by 17 giving us 0.28. Now the percentage of nitrogen can easily be calculated by simply dividing this particular value by the total mass of organic compound and multiplying it by 100 giving us 56 percentage of nitrogen in this particular organic compound. Alternatively, there is also another method of solving this particular problem by simply using the formula that we have discussed previously which is uh, percentage of nitrogen is equal to 1.4 times normality of acid that is used multiplied by the volume of acid that is consumed in the reaction with ammonia divided by the total mass of the organic compound. We know that the molarity or normality of acid can be obtained by multiplying molarity with the basicity of acid. So molarity of H2SO4 taken is 0.5, we know that basicity of H2SO4 is 2. So 1.4 into 0.5 into 2 and 20 ml of acid is consumed in the reaction with ammonia. That is not given to us and that is something we need to compute here as we have seen 50 minus 30 ml of sulfuric acid which is consumed in the titration reaction that will give us 50 minus 30 that is 20 ml. Now you can see that by simply substituting these values here you get the exactly the same answer that is 56 percentage of nitrogen in this particular organic compound. I hope you are very clear on how we have arrived at this particular uh, final answer. Thank you.